Hello everyone, it's Teresa with Wander with Teresa. And I wasn't planning on making a cooking video because you would have actually gotten video of me cooking. But I wanted to show you a quick and easy thing which is even doable after eight hours of work. And I did it. So, um, I bought a chicken. I knew I had to cook it up soon. You know, we grab rotisserie chickens. No fault in that. Rotisserie chickens are a godsend. But do we serve it up as is, or do we make it and repurpose it into different things? So I will come over here and show you the oops, shredded chicken that's left over and the shredded bones. You don't need to see the bones, but here are the bones and the skin. What I did was, oops, I cooked it in this lovely pot with uh, celery, carrots, baby carrots, and onion, all of which is sitting over here. Whoa, bad camera action. Oh, I suck tonight with this, good grief. There we go. Believe me, that's carrots. Anyway, so now I have lovely shredded chicken meat, dark and light, broth that I've seasoned and have controlled the spices and the flavor and the salt and etc. and the veggies. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think I will be making uh, some chicken salad because I really like chicken salad sandwiches and probably some fajitas with some of the chicken breast. I can shred it up, toast it up with uh, fajita seasoning, peppers and onions and have a second component meal for the week because I work, so I need lunches and dinners. I have the broth. Now I could take all the veggies and maybe a can of, um, right out of my head, cannellini beans and, uh, blend it up and make a lovely vegetable soup for evenings when I come home really late. I'm hungry. I want something, but it's light enough. It's going to fill me. And I'm not going to go to bed going, Oh, because we all know when you're hungry and you just you just start eating, you can't. At some point, soup goes, hey, you're done. It's okay. You'll be okay. And I can use part of the broth of that also. I'm letting it sit out and cool so that the fat comes up. And uh, that'll help make the soup. I can also take some of the veggies aside and have a little side dish. The carrots are just perfect tender. It's awesome. So that's the starter for this. I will try, I promise, because actually I can cook tomorrow night too. Uh, I will show you what the fajitas and the chicken salad and uh, the preparations for next week's lunches and dinners. And I've got some other things too, but they're, they're, the, they're the five minute, 30 minute or less miracle foods that get you through the work week. Uh... This is, this is part of the self-reliance. You can always get a rotisserie chicken. No harm, no foul. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I totally didn't realize I said that. But, you know, you can have the shredded chicken ready to put into anything you need it to. But to actually, and I boil it. But it's, it's a parboil and it's, look it up, it, it works. And just skinned it, boned it, deboned it. I'm leaving the bloopers in. I'm too tired to actually redo this video. Uh, you can have the extra things you want for like a soup. So this is Teresa with Wander with Teresa, who at 9.38 PST on May 6th is very tired, but very happy with the fact that I have the components now to make my lunches and dinners for the rest of the week. So if you have any questions, if you'd like to see any more cooking videos, maybe cooking out of your, uh, your, you know, stash of canned goods, just in case canned goods, because what if you get sick for a week and can't go to work? You can't pay bills. You've got to pay bills. If you got the canned goods, you're going to eat and pay bills. If you have any questions, like, subscribe, welcome aboard. Golly, I have 140 of you now. Thank you so much. So I will end this for now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.